All right, fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sage. Nice to see you. Welcome back. How we doing? All right, just give me a second. My hair looks very different. Did I use a different curling iron? And my little thrift shop fund. I think it was like three bucks this dress. Super cute. Very cozy. Anyway, all right. So somebody may be flattering you. I also see you guys maybe making a lot of calls, having a lot of calls going in and out, trying to figure out some uh, finances or positions or hiring people. All right, fire signs. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. I pushed the button too quick. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I'm not ready. But I'll, I'll get ready. So maybe you're not ready for what's to come. But hey, hold on. It's coming for you. So something's coming in for you, fire signs. Let's see what it is. All right. So let's uh, clear out the energy. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. Also to give you some clarity to your situation. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. And know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And rootsandrewards.com if you want a book. Personal read, sexy time read, a multi-card read. My son is not about to play the bass right now as I'm doing a read. Evan, I'm doing reads. Take a deep breath. Sorry, I'm yelling into the thing. I don't want him to start, start playing. So maybe somebody plays bass or somebody plays guitar. Maybe you're wanting to pick up an instrument. I had this different yesterday, didn't I? I don't know. I was trying to do it differently. All right. I hear. Hold on. Let me just yell at him. I hope you guys don't hear me. I'm back. I don't think he heard me. I think he has his headset on. So give me patience, fire signs. I know you guys are impatient at times. I feel like this thing, you just want to lay on it, you know? Um, let me just let him know he can't be doing all that right now. All right. Let me see. You say my little prayer. Okay. I'm doing a read. I can't have you playing that right now. <gasps> Give me an hour. <laughs> All right. So I'm not feeling it. We're going to go back to normal. Somebody may be into like renaissance, renaissance time. All right, fire signs, what's going on with love, life, career? What are they needing to hear for the heart? Good. All right, coming out of moon energy. That's nice. Coming out of hiding. Uh, okay. You could be coming out of tower moments with a Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio energy. I feel like you guys possibly have been feeling like you're drowning in your emotions and your feelings. You're hiding away. Maybe you're resisting the tower from crumbling. So this is partnerships ending. This could be moving out, changing careers, uh, being fired, shit like that. You know, some things weren't going your way. But I see that you're you're coming out of, like, feeling bad for yourselves about it. Somebody may be trying to throw you some shocking news or tower moments. Um, you're like, it is what it is. You're going to just roll with the punches. You're not going to allow yourself to get up in your head and feeling bound and caught. 
in the situation. There's a lot of communication going on, a lot of messages, a lot of talking running in for you. Somebody may ride a bike like bow and arrow or they like shooting, may carry a gun. Uh, fire signs. What is this communication coming in? This light is way too bright. I can't even see the cars with the reflection. So this communication is about a judgment call. Judgment call is happening. You're probably loosening the reins on something. You're releasing and letting go and surrendering. Uh, maybe going towards somebody with a couple of a younger water sign. So holding back love energy from someone. Could be 45. What's the moon energy here? It's the moon. Yeah. So you, you're coming out of like hiding, and the feelings, and you're going towards resting and rejuvenating from the heartbreak, and hiding and holding back. This light is. Just It's working today, fire signs. All right, so you work very well with someone. I mean, what you all different there. All right. It's a little darker. Dark for you, but better for my eyeballs. It's still like the reflection. So maybe you're looking at your own reflection. You're looking at your own, you know, feelings. You're you know, coddling yourself at this time. What's the tower moment here for the fire signs? Yeah. Somebody was getting you really caught up in your head. Caught up in the drama and the chaos. You've dealt with a lot of people in your ear. Little crows in your ear person constantly giving you shocking news, shocking moments. You're going towards being single. So I feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to give communication saying, I want to be single. I want to be independent. I want to transform my life. I rather not sit in this situation with you anymore or sit at this job with you anymore. I rather reach for my success and my goals and reach for something else. You may be reaching for uh, an earth sign here. The king of pentacles. So making a judgment call about the king of pentacles and the empress. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So really seeing where you want to invest your time and energy. I think work and money's on your mind a lot. I think business meetings, business calls, conference calls, and stuff like that. There's a lot of that going on. What is this page of cups in reverse? Like holding back and not, not moving forward towards uh, this person anymore. Pisces energy. You're choosing not to be stuck with this person anymore. So you're choosing not to show this person love energy and just let it let it fade let it dangle this person may have been stringing you along somebody likes your independence somebody likes that you reach for your goals you reach to become better so nestling after your heart was ripped out by these heavy emotions you had going on here passion okay so as you rest well you're going to come into some inspiration some passion you're wanting to take action you're going to become very enthusiastic after you've been dormant you've been down on your luck you've been in this depression for possibly the last nine weeks eight to nine weeks eight to nine days maybe eight to nine months somebody may be born in 89 or 98 august 9th birthday or september 8th it looks like you guys are going to be going towards an empress or emperor you're getting into your empress or emperor status 
and you're going towards somebody that matches that. I think this uh, relationship that you were in or that you may be in still is just a stop and go relationship. There's, there's too much drama all the time. There's a lot of fighting all the time. There's a lot of mental confusion, a lot of second guessing whether you want to be with this person, you don't want to be with them or vice versa if they're doing that to you. Eight of swords moving. All right, eight is out here again, 88. August 8th. So moving away from you feeling blindfolded and bound, all right, becoming really excited. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of fun, a lot of forward movement. You're running into somebody here, a, a, a single independent lady, independent man, earth sign, or they're running into you. They're reaching for you. You may connect with hawks, chariot, they're coming for you. Could be a cancer energy. They're traveling in for you. This person may be mixed ethnicity. <coughs> they could be, <coughs> <coughs> oh bless me, and that's the truth. Um, that's the omen there. Um, Somebody may be like a mutt. They may be mixed with all different things. They could be white. They could be Native American. They could have a little black in them. I got a little bit of everything going on there, Leo. So you guys are really Diving into your vulnerable side, your soft side, but then gaining this resilience and this strength and structured energy, you're, you're coming into that. Somebody, this person is going to be very supportive of you, fire signs. Very supportive. Very... Um, this person comes in with a lot of blessings, a lot of fortune, the Wheel of Fortunes here, a lot of um, good feel energy. I think you, you'll be able to really show, you, show this person your vulnerable side and your strong side. You'll be able to lean on this person because they're structured. If it is an earth sign or they're taking on earth sign energy, this person's going to give you um, quality time. They're going to give you investment. They're going to give you uh, direction, steadiness, stability, security. So you're making changes in a partnership here. You're making changes within yourself. You've been rocking between the evil side and the good side of yourself. Now you're making changes. As you make changes, you see that the people, the company that you've been keeping is not matching your abundant energy. These people are keeping you stuck. They're not emotionally available or emotionally immature. They're not really at your level or frequency. So you're changing, changing your mind, changing direction, changing environments, changing relationships. There's the emperor here that matches the empress that came out. So somebody's really excited to come towards you. They're a boss. They could own their own business. They're a father or a mother. They, they have an empire. They're already structured. They already are a grown man or woman. All right. And they come in really hot for you, really sexy really put together this person dress real nice they talk nice they think real nice and they got the chess piece they're just trying to figure out how to come towards you in the correct way where you'll you'll take the bait so eight of eight of wands they're coming in fast 84 48 they're just watching somebody may live out west i think uh page of swords there was somebody stalking you that they're not they're not stalking you anymore somebody that got you up in the head or maybe this is you guys you're not going to stalk this person anymore because it creates too much mental confusion and and uh hurt for you 
as you move forward, you're going to stop watching this person, or this person's going to stop watching you. So, rushing in for the single lady, single man, this emperor. Yeah, you're getting at, at the two of cups. And the ace of cups. Oh, shit. Look at this. Yeah, coming out of lack energy. Coming out of lack energy and really feeling good emotionally. This person that you've been with, so a whole lot of love is charging in for you guys. You guys have telepathy one, one another. I'm seeing orange and purple this week. So orange is sacral, right? Sacral chakra. That's intimacy. And purple is crown, right? So this person probably, or you, you guys get each other like really hot and bothered by communication, by your, your mental, like there's mental stimulation and sexual like attraction between the two of you. And it's just like, mm, got to get a hold of that, <laughs> you know? That, that's what I'm seeing, like, with the purple and orange. I saw it in the earth sign read, too. Somebody may look really nice in it. And I questioned it yesterday. I'm like, putting orange and purple together, that's that's interesting. Um, but if you look at it, it looks really, ooh, it looks really nice together. All right. Somebody's trying to fuck with your money. Watch out. Somebody's trying to fuck with money. My pyrite tower fell. All right. So let's cleanse that bitch out. Nobody's going to fuck with your money. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If they're not trying to fuck with your money, they're trying to fuck with your mental stability. They're trying to get you unsteady, ungrounded. All right. Cleanse that, that shit away. It ain't happening. To my collective, you can try all you want. And uh, that person that's trying to cause havoc, let's see who this is, because this, this just, the pyrite hit this dice and threw it across my table here. So it could be a Libra, or this could just be saying it's going to be balanced, like they're trying to fuck with your stability and, and your mind, finances, and it's going to be justified for you. So seeking balance, you're going to get balance. Um, you're going to see both sides of the story. You're not going to continue to people please. And um, you're going to be able to submit to this, this uh, person that's coming in for you. There's a whole lot of love, a whole lot of movement, a whole lot of communication. And I feel like you guys both have this, um, this success mindset or manifestation wanting to to manifest better in your life wanting to become a better person better relationships better career better money um so that's looking good now this these people this person that you're leaving wants to see you up in your head and sad and cloaked and laying on the floor looking pathetic right Bar signs, you're too good for this shit. You may have been sitting in this energy for the last five days, five weeks. You could be 25, 52, May 2nd, February 5th birthday, but you're not having it. You're like, okay, I have to make changes. I got to I gotta read self-help books. I got to go to therapy. I got to listen to meditations. I got I to gotta do the work to make changes to get myself out of this mental chaos, this mental confusion, all right? So the 10 of pentacles is showing face here. So nice, happy partnership, money, stability in a relationship. This emperor is wanting to bring in stability. They like home. They like to be home with their significant other, with their kids. They like to play with their kids. They like togetherness, closeness. And they do like money. They do like money. Aries energy. Oh, Sun Carl again. Leo. Happiness. Happiness is being restored to you. Fire signs. You're getting your confidence back. You are coming out of any illusions. You're coming out of the illusions and getting the enlightenment about what you want to do. 
which options that you're wanting to go after, where do you want to work, where do you want to place your time and attention. Now, this person that you're leaving behind could be a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're overly emotional. They are moody. They are controlling. This person may try to manifest you to be in your feelings or hurting your feelings, trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah, to the Empress, like... You guys are the emperor and the empress. Your divine suit, divine masculine, divine feminine. If you connect with fire signs or, uh, well, you're the fire signs. You may be connecting with fire signs. You may be leaving a fellow fire sign here. Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sage. Off to the side to go towards your divine masculine or divine feminine. So you may connect with twin flame union here. I feel like you both are very balanced in your own energy. And as you come together, you're going to balance each other out. You both have your empires. You both probably have children or this person is wanting to get you pregnant or have children with you. They're looking at you as very nurturing and very steadfast, very controlled in your energy. They like it. They like it. So the two of cups, you're probably getting some telepathy with this person. Some mystical and magical things happen. Hierophant. Yeah. So you're getting a soulmate that's going to give you commitment. This person is very wise, probably wiser than their years. Uh, they're probably a little bit uh, younger than you. Could be... Uh, I'm getting 45, 5, 52, again, 25, 7, uh, July 10th, they may be coming in, October 7th, 1970, 10 days or 7 days from now, not for all of you, but some of you. So how is this person, ta this person, yeah, this person off to the side, this Queen of Cups. I do feel like it's a water sign because there's a lot of water energy. Page of Cups, Hangman, Queen of Cups. This person is very insecure and they're very bothered. They're very bothered by the changes that you're making. They don't think that they could live up to your, your expectations or standards. They're thieving. Somehow this person is is trying to thieve, taking your abundance, taking your happiness, taking your wealth. All right, trying to take your wealth. But you're slow and steady. You are just, you're slow and steady, but the finance is going to pick up pace. You're, you're leaping into more financial freedom. So this person may be trying to take something from you. And you're just walking away very slowly. So you're leaping on. You may be starting new career ventures or just leaping into uh, this partnership. They're trying to run away with your happiness, trying to run away with your abundance. Let's see what's going on. With that person trying to get a hold of that. You're 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 seeking higher higher counsel, so they're not gonna be able to get away with whatever they're trying to get away with. They're trying to burden you. Magician, water signs, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's trying to manipulate here. This water sign is trying to manipulate you, control you, and um, they think they they think they're going to get away with whatever the hell they're doing, but they're not. Queen of Cups is in reverse. They're going to cause uh, destruction on themselves here, these people, or this person. So you got a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups over to the side that are being 
fucking sneaky, deceptive. This could be friends, family. This lover may have another lover. But fucking deceptive. This king of cups thinks he has a queen of cups. But it's not really a queen. It's like a peasant. Person may have blonde hair, long blonde hair. Man ha may have a beard, blonde hair. Somebody's thieving. Somebody is thieving and manipulating the other person. So somebody's being manipulated here. Someone's trying to cause panic, discomfort, lack, and trying to get you stuck. Get you stuck. Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like somebody's trying to get your fortune here. This is going to be shown to you, Virgo energy. It's not. It's going to be shown to you. You're not going to be isolated by it. And I don't feel like you're going to... Um, if it's fine, it's Ten of Pentacles. You, you're walking away. You're going to be fine financially. Like, these people, they don't have a fucking clue. So... If somebody is filing for divorce, if someone you own a home with them or houses or um, CD accounts or whatever you own with this person, they're not going to be able to take your Ten of Pentacles. They're trying to cause heartbreak here to a partnership, to, to your stability. But look, the Three of Swords is in reverse. It's not happening. Because you're not immature, insecure. You know what the fuck you're doing and how to do it. Yeah, you reciprocate. You know how to deal with your money. You know how to reciprocate energies. You know how to work hard. You know where to put your time and attention. So you're going to become reciprocated. You're going towards a partnership here that's going to reciprocate you really nicely that you're going to be able to build build with this person financially so, and there's marriage and partnership here with the two with the, with the four of wands marriage and partnership here with the four of wands and the ten of cups wish fulfillment in this really abundant relationship finance is good partnerships good family life is good houses are good pets are good you got the whole, the whole thing going on here. And you may be leaving somebody in, in the dust, in lack energy, and that's why they're bothered by you moving forward. Um, you investing, you committing somewhere else, you, you climbing up the ladder, you investing in yourself, you're seeing yourself in high regard here, so that's good. So I'm not really sure, like... The past two weeks, you know, these people that have been coming up for the collective, they're really bothered by the fact that you're getting on your game. Like, you're grinding and you're getting what you want. And you're not holding back. And they're really bothered by it. But the reason why they're bothered by it is because they can't live. They don't, they don't have your frequency. They're a lower frequency collective. They don't know thyself. So they have to project and try to damper somebody else's life. This is a fucking hot mess over here, this person. There's manipulation. There's, you know, possible spell work going on with the magician. Uh, but everything's in reverse. As, as, as Whatever they're throwing, whatever they're trying to throw to you guys, it's all in reverse. It's not touching you. And it's actually showing that you... They're cultivating <laughs> their thievery. Their thievery and shit is actually bringing in more abundance and more change for you. So the fact that they're showing stupidity and fuckery, 
you're just transmuting it and becoming bigger and better. And they're going to watch from the sidelines because that's where they're at. They're on the sidelines, these people. So you let me know who these people are to you, if they're lovers, friends, family, co-workers. But there's the Wheel of Fortune here. You really stepping up and you going up that ladder and not having to worry about the money. Not having to worry about your stability as much as maybe you were in uh, previous years. Let's see. I want to know who this person is that's coming in to give you love call and kisses. Besos. Okay. Kissy kiss. Love call. Loving some of you. Expresses love. So somebody's expressing love. Thinking of you. Message of love is coming in. Giving and receiving affection and falling in love. And you're talking over coffee talk. Meeting and conversating. Savoring the moment with each other. And this could start as a friendship. Feeling uplifted with this person. Fire signs. What's going on? Somebody, somebody could be a security officer. Misery loves company. This fucking keeps coming out. That's, that's these people that are trying to fucking block your shit. You'll receive justice. Yes, you will. You'll receive your justice. Because you're getting justice with love and you're getting justice with money. People bothered. Highly blessed and favored. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need the cards. Abused. These people are abused. They have past history of abuse. I know I fumbled you. They know that they they can't match. They cannot match your energy. So they had to abuse you. Because they're abused. Fire signs. What's going on? Fire signs. Could have been with the narc. This distance is killing me. So this emperor, empress, is at a distance from you, fire signs, and they want to close the gap. New opportunities are coming. We saw that. Just letting you know in words. I can't get past my insecurities. That's the person that you're with. Or whoever this person is. They have major insecurities. I won't hurt you. This person's telling you I won't hurt you. Alright. So. Who's this person coming in for fire signs? Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, twice. Saturn and Capricorn, 1910. You may have a grandfather or grandmother born in 1910. October 19th. So heavy on Capricorn energy. Somebody's really, really excited. You're going to feel... Once you get the sex started with them fire signs, once you start having intimacy with this person, you're going to be addicted to each other. Like, the sex is addictive. This person's energy is addictive. <laughs> Leo. Yeah. The kiss. The kiss just makes you weak in the knees. It's a heavy lot of intimacy with this person. Like, really deep, like... Deep energy. Uranus, Aquarius. And uh, Virgo, six. But I feel Virgo is in reverse. So I feel like you probably... You're bailing on a Virgo, maybe. Let's see what else about this person coming for you. <sighs> Who's this person coming to conversate with you and light your your world up? Magician. So they're a master manifester. They got everything. They got everything that you want. The brains, intellect, emotions, passion. 
the looks. Be your cup of tea. Somebody's been at a crossroads just peeking and watching you undress from a distance. Keeping a watchful eye on you. They may like your back. Got a nice looking back. But yeah, they're coming out of rocking back and forth whether or not they want to come towards you or not. This person may have been held back from you. They could have been with someone else or you could have been with someone else. There's two, two here, but then you, two plus two is four, and four of wands is a relationship. So you guys are going to be, <laughs> this person's going to be coddling you. You're going to feel like the empress or the emperor with them. They coddle you like no other. You just throw your boobs around this guy's head, and they go all goo goo gaga for you. Yeah. Emperor. They want you to get down on your knees and pleasure them. Yeah, they're a boss. And they just want to motorboat your ass. You got nice boobies. Somebody's a jokester. Somebody will, you know, poke fun. Somebody folk pokes fun. Somebody may be a shorty Mac. Maybe 4'11". Or on the shorter side. Fire signs. Who's this person? Coming for you. Six, six of Wands, so victory. You could be going somewhere very um, holy or healing for you. Maybe a cottage in the woods or gardens or something like that. Oh, they're coming in to claim you. Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tapping that ass, throwing your ass over the bed. And saying, I claim you. We need to talk. Talk dirty to me. Yeah, they go from, like, wishy-washy, hot and cold energy to, I need that is. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, <laughs> you could take me back there. <laughs> take me for a ride. <laughs> yeah, take me for a ride. Hangman in reverse Pisces energy. You just, you just do something to this person. They just, like... They can't get unstuck from you. They love how you like just wrap your good feel energy around them. You could be 46, 47. Just wrap your good feel energy around them and just like they feel very proud or they're going to feel. Yeah, they're going to feel very proud to have you as their like their empress or emperor. So getting unstuck with this person. Hmm. They got a little bit of a grin on their face. They're just tickled. This person's tickled that you would come for them. Like you're, you come for them or you're, or they're coming for you. Whatever it is. Wrap that punana up. I want you to close shop. I don't want nobody else. Licking on that. Sucking on that. That's the communication that's coming in. Like truthful communication. Like I see you as an emperor. I see you as my empress. And lock it down. Because I'm coming to eat. I'm coming to munch town. <laughs> I'm coming to coddle you. I'm coming in a mature way. So this person comes in like just blessed. Blessed up. It's a claim. Get in my sheets. Get in my bed. The communication, you just, the way this motherfucker talks to you, you're just like, oh. or like how you, how they talk to you, you just like, oh my God, I'll get wet, wet for days. I want you to pour wax on me and shit. Page of cups, like bend me over, just shower me, <laughs> shower me with those warm fluids. They want to spank you. They want to put you on the lap and tap and spank that ass <laughs> they're just admiring your ass like wow they want to see your ass butt naked butt naked 
wanting to see you play with yourself, wanting to invest, grow a legacy with you. They love your upper carriage. You're a little muscular. Communication is about, I want to see you ride the pony, and I want to see you play with yourself as you ride the pony. <laughs> and I want to invest. And I want to be your emperor. I want to be your divine match. I want to defend, protect, and provide for you. I'm, I'm the it. This person's like, I'm the it for you. They mean business. Romantic. Oh, so romantic. The king of pentacles. Yeah, they come in with presents. shower you with riches just show a lot of intimacy the eye contact between the two of you is great this person will lift you up you know grab a hold of your waist you guys could go dancing or learning how to dance or you guys really move well to with each other could be a latin lover mexican Also seeing Italian here with the girl. The girl may be Italian. Or that's you. Somebody got nice fucking legs, quads. Big ass quads. Come on, tap that ass. King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio grabbing the boobies. And going to pound town. Wanting to see you in that intimate lighting. Putting your legs up high. But coming in with balanced emotions like ready to invest emotionally and this person has had a hard time being emotionally available or expressive in their feelings and that's something that they've been trying to work on and maybe this is you maybe that's what you've been trying to work on knowing that there's a problem as far as when it comes to emotions um yeah with the eight of cups Somebody might have hushed you when you were younger that you weren't able to express yourself or somebody may have held your emotions. Like you would say something like, oh, this bothers me. And they would just say, oh, stop being a big baby. Oh, man up or woman up. Uh, you know, your opinion doesn't count here. Or you would scream out for help and they, nobody would help. You're walking away from this programming or these false narratives here right, give me one more one more knight of wands get down on your knees <laughs> i want to show you sexual energy i'm excited about you i want you on the bean i want you on the magic stick i feel like this person's going to praise praise you on your oral pleasure <laughs> Like you give really good oral pleasure. And they're going to say good girl. Patch a little bit of good boy. <laughs> Whew, mouse water. This one, this one's sexy. Mm hmm. Where are we going from here? I didn't put any back. Like, you may be going backstage or back music. Background music. Oh, they, they're coming in hot and heavy. Yeah, so you're not going to be only one on your knees. This motherfucker is going to be between your thighs. They want to feel how, how tight the legs get around their ears and their neck and shit and their head. Yeah, somebody does it very well. Mm, yeah, they're very, they want to see you bent back and your titties all up. Damn, they want to catch you. This person's leaping in like motherfucking fool. This person's a fool in love over you. They're just like, oh, I can't wait to get my mouth on it. <sighs> I can't wait to 69 with that. I can't wait to have that ass in my face. Somebody likes to toss salads here. Yeah? Or you like to get your little booty hole licked. <laughs> All right. We're getting, we're getting in that shit. <laughs> They want to get in there. So they're very fond of your, your backside, your ass, or your back. Yes. Yes, they are. 
All right, let's see. Um, I don't want, I don't know where to go from here. That was just real good. So the people that are trying to cut you down, eh, it could be up to five people. This person may have a May birth date or the fifth birth date. They could be 40, 45. Ah, shit. Yeah, they don't want you to pick up and uh, move away. So you may be moving, moving to a different state, moving to a different country, and they don't want to. They don't want you to do that. It is a fishy. Somebody, somebody got a fishy couple love here, and I feel like it's a younger water sign trying to give you a fishy couple love and then sabotage your blessings, sabotage your abundance. Five. Who are these people trying to sabotage? Really don't want to. Leo, they're not going to get you. You're stronger. Devil card. You're just no. You. <laughs> so Capricorn Leo is here. Aquarius, Aries. So you may be jumping in to a Capricorn, Aquarius, or Leo energy. Yeah, this person's magnetic. I think you guys, you do have a devilish side, you fire signs. You do. You have a light and fluffy side, but you do have a devil side of you. And you have a very uh, strong side of you, too. Um, you could go to the dark side of the moon real quick. Um, so just be careful that you're not jumping into foolish things or you're not getting carried away with addictions, obsessions. Some of you guys have OCD, uh, ADHD. So just be careful of uh, where you're headed. But I think there's this this devil energy, I feel like. This is just feeling so drawn to somebody sexually, mentally, that you got to take a risk. <laughs> you got to go towards this person. You may connect with the song or, or want to listen to the song since I said the dark side of the moon. Listen to the little Wayne song and um, Nicki Minaj, dark side of the moon. Somebody's waiting for you, waiting to have a partnership with you. They have been held back from you, but they're now coming in with communication. So maybe this relationship hasn't yet started. You may not know them. Or once you do, they may hold back and be very reserved with their energy uh, at first. But then they come in and take action towards the King of Wands, Leo Aries, Sage, the Queen of Pentacles. So again, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person sits in their value. Uh, this person doesn't have any options. They don't have any options right now. So this person's single, like we saw with the Nine of Pentacles at the beginning. Single individual. They're not, they don't got nobody. That's why they'll speed up to come towards you, the Emperor. For the, <laughs> the Emperor for the nice little partnership. Ten of Pentacles to give you that couple love, Sagittarius. Come out of any moon energy come out of hiding so somebody's coming out of hiding whether they had to hide away from you or just divine hid this person from you because you had to navigate away from this uh cancer pisces scorpio aries scorpio energy there may have been a third what's going on here there may have been a third party for some of you not all wasn't seeing it too much but I feel like this is new energy coming in. And that's all. That's that's what I got. We're at around 50 minutes. I'm live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time over here and on TikTok. Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards, Jesse. I do have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link uh, below. If you'd like to purchase something for the channel, I like getting gifts. And uh, yeah. That's what I got. Let's do the chakra. What chakra are the fire signs needing to work on? How do I usually shuffle these? Oh, 
I missed two. Could be 53, 35, May 3rd, March 5th. What? Chakras. Okay. Money, money, money. Sacral chakra. What did I say? Finances, power, generosity, abundance. You connect with little koi fish. But there's money coming in. You're unblocking that sacral chakra. So you could have rigid beliefs, uh, lack of spontaneity, sexual issues, maybe not really having sex or desiring to have sex, holding back. Um, there was blockages. Now you're getting into more of uh, more of your sexuality, more intimacy, uh, better relationships, more joy, more pleasure trusting yourself and others more and inspiration the crown what did i say orange and purple wear orange and purple eat more oranges orange juice wear more orange purple eat purple grapes wear purple clothes but i feel like you need to combine these two colors do i have anything orange and purple i don't know but uh, that's a great way to be inspiration and money. So this is you, your mind is going to start sparking off with new ideas to be, make you money. Or you're going to get a hold of this person and this person is bringing in a lot of creativity and they burst out. Like they make you burst out and just get really ambitious, like really excited. You guys are going to work really well together. Somebody here is just coming in with those ideas, spark. Uh, just 46 and 14, April 1st, January 4th. Number five is significant. I keep seeing it. So look up that angel number five. Guys work real real good together. So listening to your divine guidance again with the crown. Guidance, support, love, signs, and direction. So somebody's seeing the signs that they need to come towards you with that sacral energy. Purple, orange. So when our crown chakra is is blocked there's depression hopelessness and alienation when it's open there's consciousness impression um, inspiration spiritual connection and being an having an open mind so this person is is popping off guys it's popping off with this person so get ready you may be purple you may you know be in your head a lot thinking and overthinking, making those phone calls, you know, business is always on your mind. This person brings in sacral, sexy, spicy energy, excitement, intimacy, warmth, coddling you. So you're clashing. So this person may be wear, may wear orange when you see them and you could be wearing purple or vice versa or a mixture of sexuality on the back with the sacral yeah, yeah. you're again in those silk sheets openness sharing beauty and honor 13 i love it i'll claim it all right so you're going to be nesting with someone here and divine consciousness is directing you right to it enjoy it guys all right keep yourself in high regard and uh, follow me on all outlets interact with me comment again i'm not going to be doing water signs or air signs till further notice i just don't have any need to do it the views are not generating much nobody's commenting you guys are asking me now to do the reads but there's not enough pull for it um i may bring it back in the future if i see the comments are like getting crazy but right now we're we're just going to chill with the fire and, and earth because i connect most with those Oh, they're the most accurate for me. And uh, yeah, that's it. Give yourself forgiveness. Give yourself compassion. 
and just surrender to divine. All right. I'll see you next time. See you Thursday. Bye, guys.